15. Thanks for joining me. Uh, what's your assessment on that one? Yeah, rubbish. <clears throat> Got a score when you're on top in this business. Started all right. Not apart from the first 20 minutes or so. And we were rubbish. Um, you know, when you play against a team like Woken, you can't give away set pieces the way we did. And you can see them a set piece and you give them something to hold on to. And they're big and strong and they're physical. And they're there. Uh, a lot of experience in that group, but from our point of view, um, pitch didn't help us, wasn't ideal, very dry, um, bobbly, so it just suits them, they can make tackles, make contacts, but when they get the lead, it's unless you score, and a bit of magic from a Harley or somebody like that, or a bit of pace, which we put on for Walsh, um, and he gave us no pace, or I never ran him behind, he did nothing. Um, all in all, it was a rubbish performance. Working scored a fairly scrappy goal early on, uh, were you happy with the, re- the uh, response from the lads? Uh, not really, because we didn't score in that response. Um, like I say, we started the game okay, got in some good areas, we had a great chance one on one with Efron. He, you know, he's got to score that chance, hasn't he? Um, it's a glorious chance, good save, but our goal had several corners, several set pieces. We had a great penalty shout, and we felt that tackle was inside the box, wasn't given. And to be like I say, they just a bit more streetwise than us, a bit more cunning than us, and uh, a goalkeeping error from us gave them the lead. So. Just frustrating, really. Just rubbish to watch, to be totally honest with you. We created a, a few chances, but obviously couldn't, couldn't quite take them. That was the dif- difference uh, to today. What, what do you put that down to? Just lack of finish. It's why we're in the position we are. You know, they're in the position where they are for a certain reason, and we're in the position we are. They're obviously not consistent enough either. So it's why both of us are sort of like seeing out the season the way we are, both of us. Um, Look, Cox is a major loss for us because he sets a tone, he makes a bad ball, a good ball. And Oxo is a major loss for us as well. They've both come out of the team. Harry Taylor's a loss for us, he's not here, he's not available. And uh, yeah, just like I say, I feel sorry for our punters today. I have to pay to watch that. Um, so I feel for them. Can you expand on why those three players are out still? Harry Taylor's got a major gash in his leg. Um, Oxo got a smack of the ball in the face yesterday and we're not sure exactly what's going on he's been dizzy all night he hasn't been able to sleep he's been to hospital today and uh, Coxie's got a knee issue a slight swollen knee issue from, from Tuesday night so and the lads that have come in haven't done themselves any justice they've been poor um, the lads that come off the bench were poor <laughs> so all in all it's a poor day but it just keeps answering questions for me uh, personally I'm going to change things here I've told everybody that there's going to be major changes there'll be an overhaul because I'm not accepting that and uh, yeah it's just absolute poo on toast you, you, you've spoken about consistency in, in your recent interviews uh, how, how frustrating is it after putting putting together a good run of results is it to, to lose today and the players don't they don't they don't respond enough to it consistency so they're low stock players I'll be honest with you they're low stock players Powell's out again don't know what's wrong with him this time um, he's always out injured or something's wrong with him and, uh, and that's the issue the resilience within our players is rubbish um, our pitch was rubbish today as well I'm not saying that didn't help I did help but it helps them because they're a big physical side and that's what they are and uh, some of the lads the young lads that watch YouTube all the time want to be YouTube footballers need to have a good look at themselves because that's an unbelievable opportunity for them today after the back of a great victory on Tuesday and uh, it's, it's just not good enough I'm not telling any lawyers I'm telling the truth um, you know if we're going to stay around this, this, this area of the division we're going to have to go forward with these players, but we're not going to do that. Um, the players have answered the questions that I had of them already, and it's just not good enough. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to speak to them all one v one with their agents, whoever they want. Um, but that's just that. It's just a performance. Are there any positives to uh, take no, from today? Not one positive. I'll be honest with you. Not, I'll tell you who, Ryan de Havilland, 20 year old kid, went away, went in the programme, went in the gym programme, went on loan to Beaconsfield. Outstanding again today, going in there against men. Woodsy did all right. Uh, Beardy's Beardy, does what he does. Low maintenance, walks his socks off. Experienced players were poor today. Um, front line was poor. F wasn't himself at times, but it just shows you F's being marked out of the game. I thought the referee's performance towards Efron was terrible. Uh, he was constantly fouled. Um, Hawley did better at the back end of the first half, did okay at the start of the second half. Probably look at myself there, probably shouldn't have took him off because he's got composure, he's got a bit of quality. I've put Walsh on and Walsh made us worse, um, to be totally honest with you. Um, Marshall's come off with an injury as well, so I'm just sick and tired of all the injuries and not being able to constantly select the same team. 
No, look at the teams at the top. They pick the same team every week. They make subtle changes. Can't even make tactical changes. Weak. Um, so that mentality is changing. It's changed already because when I took over, I think we had only two points. I think everybody had more points than us. So we've changed bits. It just takes a bit of time. And we've given the club a little bit of stability. Um, and the next 11 games are massive for the players. They're either going to play their way out of this football club or keep themselves in the football club. Just, we're in League One and League Two. There's 778 players out of contract. Sorry, we're in uh, League Two and the National League. There's 778 players out of contract this summer. There's, there's, all, there's nearly 1,800 players out of contract this summer, in from the Premier League all the way down to a division. That's without going to the north and south. That's without filtering back down into the other three leagues below that. It's tough. Ask some of the lads that didn't have clubs this time last year. We've started already for next year, so that's down to the players if they want to stay here or not. But they can't stay here with performances like that. They just won't stay. We'll go our separate ways. That's just not good enough. We've got a full week to, to uh, prepare for, for Maidenhead next weekend. After a busy run of fixtures uh, recently, is, is, do you feel like this, this week uh, could be needed? So I suppose if Cox is a massive player for us, need him back, need Taylor back. Yeah, to just hopefully Oxborough gets through this week and can get back. Um, if not, we'll look to sign a goalkeeper. The chairman okay is that. Um, yeah, so, uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's just, I've got, if I'm being honest, um, yeah, we just need our better players back. And like I say, Cox makes a bad ball, a good ball. He's a pest. Um, hopefully Marshall's all right. So just see where we are on Monday, to be honest with you. It just ruins the weekend. And uh, it's sort of after the law mayor showed you the night, not consistent enough to do the business. And uh, that's the one why we're in the position we are. And have you got a message for our fans today? Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, the players haven't represented us the way they should have today. Both of us, all of us. And they've got to take responsibility for that. They've got to look at themselves. And no doubt they'll speak to their agents and their families and blame everybody else. My tactics, maybe the fans weren't shouting loud enough, our supporters weren't shouting loud enough. It'll be someone else's fault, because that's the way society is now. Um, so when you win, everyone wants to tweet and all this. What's this? Gram, Instagram, what's this rubbish? They all want to tweet and all this rubbish. Week in, week out, do the business. Fight. Determined. Give your all. I didn't see that today. Nowhere near enough. Especially the young lads. It's the young lads that frustrate me even more. Come on, there's your opportunity. Come on, son, take it. Nah. Rubbish. But they'll be on Insta. Sorry to the supporters. Oh, it's all, all rubbish. Public perception, that is. Yeah, it's a fake world. Fake world. Get on. Hard work. Walk your socks off. Life hasn't changed. Football hasn't been reinvented. Do you know what I mean? Everyone wants to re do this and do that and all this and tactics. Rubbish. Walk your socks off for yourself and your family then do it for the supporters you know players didn't do that today that's our motto don't do that I can't defend them and I'm not prepared to defend them um, and, you know good luck to Woken it's a real sad situation at Woken Alan Dowson's a great guy a great football person I'm not sure where them players didn't do that from week in week out um, I think it's really sad you know because he's a real good guy Dows. he's one of the great football people it's funny how football changes as well about four months ago we I know Dow's torn down an offer from a League Two side. Now he finds himself out of work. Sad, really. Now, loyalty, you can show loyalty to a football club and then they can do that to you. But with the same group of players. It's the players that are woke and they have a good look at themselves. So Dow's is a personal friend of mine, football friend of mine. And, uh, you know, full credit to them today. They've got that three points. We wish them well. But, uh, you know, I wish Dow's well. Dow's is my main concern and my football team is my main concern. Thanks for your time today. Cheers, mate. Top man.